Jasmine Paolini versus Mira Andreeva is the second semi-final for the ladies French Open for 2024. And both players have caused upsets to get to the stage. Braver entered the tournament unseated and will take on Bectus in the first round. This is no problem getting through in straight. 6-2, 6-3. The second round she take on Azarenka, the number 19 seed. And after splitting the first two sets, fight back to win. 6-3, 3-6, 7-5. Third round she take on Stern, who had just taken out the number 10 seed Kazakina in the previous round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-1. In the fourth round she take on Gracheva, who had taken out Sakri in the previous round. After a close first set, to get through in straights. 7-5, 6-2 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Andreva will take on Sabalenka, the number two seed, who she just lost to a month ago in Madrid. And after dropping the first set in a tie break, Andreva would fight back against a sick Sabalenka. 6-7, 6-4, 6-4 to advance to the semifinals. Pellini entered the tournament as the number 12 seed. We'll take on Sabal in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3-6-4. Second round, she'd take on the lucky loser, Baptist. And after a close second set, would get through in straight. 6-4-7-6. Third round, she'd take on Andrescu, who had just beaten Kalen Skaya in the previous round. And after splitting the first two sets, Pellini ran away with a third. 6-1-3-6-6-love. In the fourth round, she'd take on Avanesian, who had taken out Zhang, the seventh seed in the previous round. And again, after splitting the first two sets, Pellini would run away with a third. 4-6-6-love-6-1 six, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Pellini would take on the number four, Rabakina. Play she'd lost to in Stuttgart at the start of the Clay season. And after coming out strong, she had to fight to win 6-2-4-6-6-4 to advance to her first semi-final of a major. They should have actually played the one time before. That was in Madrid a couple of months ago with Andreva getting the win in straight sets. So it's going to be a really fun final to get a rematch so quickly after Andreva getting one of the bigger wins of her career. If Andreva's going to win this one, she needs to keep her cool. She got a lot of errors against Sabalenka, which is not going to happen with Paolini. Paolini was playing so solid against Rabakina and not giving anything away. So Andreva's got to keep her cool when Paolini gets everything back because we know that's what she's going to do. If Paolini's going to win this one, she needs to get everything back like she has been doing this week. And especially when she did that against Rabakina, it worked so well. It forced so many errors from Rabakina's racket. And Andreva, not being here before, is a little bit nervous. Maybe she could pry on that as well and try and get some errors out of Andreva and maybe some frustration as well. Great matchup. These two have never been here before. We're going to get a first-time finals of a Grand Slam. It could be one of these ladies. Which one is going to be? I'm going to go with Pellini in this one. I think experience and just having that mental edge, I think might just get her the win. Even though Andreva did beat her in Madrid, I just feel like the pressure for Andreva must be massive. So I'm going to go with Pellini in three, but let me know who's making the final.